Hey y'all, good morning. I had to start my vlog here because, you know, I was the early bird of the bunch. I didn't have time to vlog at the theme hotel. We're at the Louvre Hotel. I mean, the Louvre Museum. We got tickets, but the line is still a long time. Child, you got too optimistic. You thought it was him. <laughs> So I'm ready to take some pics and be cute. I'm at the museum. Oh. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. Wow. It's huge. Yeah. Everybody's so naked. Everybody's so naked. I know what you are. I contemplate how I Like we holding it. I'm gonna show y'all mine. Down, down, stop. Right there. A little team. Yeah, a little go down. A little team. Like that's it. Go over, Kim. Go where? Over. Back. Back. Back to you. Back, back, back. Up, 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 up. Out a little bit. Out. Out where? Comes down a little teeny bit. Hold it. Hold it. Right there. So literally. Her pants done dry rotted. Cause she probably occupied them years ago and ain't that worn. And this heifer gonna take, don't take them off. I'm Let the people the, see. I'm healing this heifer. She Look didn't, she she didn't freaking take. Paper. No, stand up. I stand up. Stand, stand up and show us. I think somebody had to do it. So anyway, do that. I put these pants on and they're new. I just took the tags off of them today. Why would you take these pants because like I this? Take the this duct tape I off. I need some scissors and Child. I can modify. Oh, you can put them down. That's why I'm going to take my clothes over there. So anyway, you can go back to the vlog if you want. And they I listening to you. Do the explanation. So I was going to peel them, <laughs> and then I said, take out that black tape. Her okay. tape was, her pants was peeling, so she's going to say she should duct tape them. Actually, I'm just going to peel the stuff off because the gray don't even look that bad. And you know what, y'all? Sometimes you, you got to do this when you are out in the streets and modification. So I, Mama G is modifying her pants. Baby girl, don't modify nothing. I'm modifying it. I gotta get me some food before I fall out. Okay, let's go. I'm hungry. But anyway, they don't even look that bad with the gray. I do. They ain't all that cute. Well, I can put some more tape over top of them, but mm. I need a piece of, I need some scissors. I mean, I, it's either what? Go around what I'm peeling, looking janky, or. Take them off! Look. I am not gonna waste the outfit just because. Them pants don't look good. And look at them now. I just have to put my other leggings on. I got my other leggings underneath anyway. Girl, I got a pair of leggings for all this. I got some leggings on. I got two pair of leggings on, y'all. <laughs> Sit down. But look, look at the tape. <laughs> Boom. Stop it, taping these! If it was one continuous piece, it would work, possibly. I need some scissors now. <laughs> I have not been vlogging because, let me tell y'all, I have not been vlogging because I ain't been in the mood. What's that little call? Ring. <laughs> no. I ain't been vlogging because I ain't been in the mood. I'm trying to pick my spirits up. My mama is trying to pick them up too, but child. We'll you can see. be happy if you want to. That's what baby Glam said. Well, you want me to go outside with you? If you want to come outside with me. If you need time to decompress, then decompress. Well, I'm going to take my picture outside because I don't think he did a good job. Okay, y'all. So, he is about to film the first part of my little docu. Well, second part of my docu series. Hey, mom. Um, First, second part of my docu series. So, we're going to see what it's about to be given. Huh? Do you have my designer pass? It's upstairs. You need it? Yeah. Okay. And stuff like that. So, we're about to get that to it and then be done. I'm going to sit on the stand. 
So I'm basically having to take this seam out because I feel like it wasn't stitched properly. Do you need models? Oh um, yeah. You haven't had all your models. Not yet. How many have you had? Three. Three. Okay. Good try. And it's la marque. In fact, I'm going to tell you there are five shows. Five shows, and you're going to decide for different marques. So here, I'm going to have to do the stitching. 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 Instagram name. Yeah, I forget to. So this is one. I have a question. How does their makeup work? So tomorrow they come at 7 a.m. Okay. And they gonna do their hair and their makeup. And I think that every model will have the same hair and the same makeup. Do you know what it is? I don't know what it is. But I can ask for you. Okay. Let me go ask and I will do it. We have the same. Um, so basically, I'm trying to tie this up for her. I'm trying to find my pen. Here we go. I just got done doing fittings. That literally took us like what two hours. We wore out. Look at my team. Hey, teamies. <laughs> I leave this with you then for your outfit, but you have to take it breaks really easy. Oh, okay, okay. So, so just to, uh, so just to, so that be very careful. Though. Yeah. But will you come to me? I will try, but I have my show is at one. I will try. Do you want my information in case? Yes. Okay, so I can give it back to you. You can give me. Yeah. So. I'm going to give you my phone number so you can text me. What's your name? Tay. Tay, I'm Nareen. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, here's my phone number just in case we don't see each other so I yeah. can give it back yeah. to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let me give you guys a little bit of background just because I'm pretty sure you really don't have any clue what's going on because I didn't really state it. And this vlog is a little bit of choppy. And I know a lot of you guys are really in tune with my energy, so you can probably tell I'm a little bit thrown off. So as I stated in my first vlog, I did end up hiring a photographer slash videographer um, to come out here in Paris and shoot me and stuff. And basically, you guys seen that he missed the first day um, because of, I guess he was asleep or whatnot. So then the second day comes um, that morning. He was actually late getting to the lobby so that we can start our day then he actually does show up to the museum he does take a few photos of me at the museum a few video clips um but there weren't anything that i could possibly really any photos i could use or wanted to post on instagram um and then you know he came his camera was dying all that kind of stuff so you know later on that day before the fitting we were supposed to meet back up so we could start shooting the documentary part as I always do for my videos and then we can go ahead and go to my fitting and film that um, with him shooting me then he basically didn't have the mic on so some of the clips a good amount didn't have any audio and the ones that did have audio um, it wasn't the proper mic because you couldn't really hear me it was a lot of street noise and you know we were in the uber on our way to my fitting he said that he left his phone in the lobby and i let him stay in that uber and i got out and i got in the uber with my mom and them because their uber was right behind us and i went with my mom and my cousin to my fitting and he just supposedly was supposed to go back to the hotel to get his phone and he just never showed up to the fitting until about two and a half hours later and by that time, my fitting was over, so it was nothing for him to film. Mind you, it was only a 11-minute walk from my hotel to where my fitting was. Um, he said he tried to get two Ubers, and they both canceled on him. And he said he tried to get two taxis, and they both canceled. And I just didn't understand why he didn't originally stay in the first Uber that I had got for him. And in two and a half hours, you couldn't get four ways of transportation and then also you didn't decide to walk the 10 minutes just to make sure you would make it there for me to support me because i did pay for you to come to paris and pay for your hotel um 
So with that being said, you know, I was a little bummed out because this was such a big opportunity for me and big experience. And he just did not show up again on the second day. He didn't apologize. Um, he was very rude. He did have a, me and him did have a conversation when I did get back because he did come to the fitting. Um, and like I said, it was over, but by that time we were packing up. So we did have a conversation, me, him, and my mom, my cousin. And, you know, I told him, I was like, I feel like that you kind of just took my experience from me. And it was just really emotional. I started crying because, you know, it was a lot on me. And that's why these vlogs are so up and down and choppy and not fully in their entirety as they normally would be because I was really emotionally just upset. Um, but by the end of that conversation, I told him, I was like, you know, I just want you to give me my money back. And he said he would give me my money back. Um, and he said he would have to, you know, contact people to get the money to give it to me. But of course he never give he has never given me any money back. Um, and after that, we weren't supposed to film anymore with each other or do any type of photos or anything, because at that point he said he was going to get my money back. And I didn't trust him to show up to anything that he said he would show up because it had already been two days. And these were the three big days. It was the first day, which was the designers meeting and meeting everybody. The second day was the fitting. And then the third day was the actual show. So that's why I'm a little bit thrown off, but I hope it doesn't ruin you guys' mood because I know y'all watch my vlogs to have a good time and have great energy. And I really apologize, but I just was really out of it and I was just so upset. So, and this was my first time really flying a videographer from like the States to out the country with me. I just thought it would be better that way. But nonetheless, I ended up hiring another photographer that was based in Paris. So I did get some photos later on. And, you know, I did see other videographers that I could try to work with, but I was just thrown off you guys. So I'm sorry. So y'all, um, I had a really, really tough day today. And I just don't, I just didn't feel like um, coming back on the vlog camera. I'm pretty sure y'all know by now everything that actually jumped off and occurred. Um, that's really unfortunate, but, you know, sometimes it is what it is. And, and I'm even know about it. But I'm not going to let it ruin my day or, well, it kind of ruined my day. But I'm not going to let it, like, continue to ruin my day. I'm just going to move forward from it. Um... So yeah, I want to go to sleep. I pro and I'm so sorry because like you know I know y'all was expecting so much footage and stuff from Paris, but I will make something happen. Don't worry. Um, all I need to do right now is really just focus on, just focus on um, Fashion Week and my clothing. So I'm gonna make that happen. Don't worry. So that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, y'all. Good morning y'all good morning so today is actually show day i just woke up <laughs> um i was up pretty late because i was trying to work on all my clothes and stuff and then i didn't even end up i was working on my clothes and stuff and i didn't end up remember i told you i wasn't really in the mood but i'm good today so i feel like i'm not super excited but i'm not like okay but anyway either way I'm good today. I'm just trying to like readjust my energy, but I feel like today's a new day. Everything's going to go out really good. My lips look so dry. <laughs> but I feel like today is a new day. Um, let's just have a good freaking day. Why do I look so pale? When I get home, I'm literally sitting in the sun, like just going to stay in there because child, I look so freaking pale, but I'm just really excited for today. I'm nervous. I want to get everything over. I want to make sure everything is okay. I want to make sure everybody looks great. I want to make sure all those types of things that could ever happen is happening. So, yes. Let me just get ready. I just need to get off the phone, get ready with y'all, and do what I got to do. So, I'm going to see y'all later. Yeah, nigga, like, Look. Look at my new flowers for show day. Oh, my God. They're so cute. Y'all know who they from. <laughs> I need to crack these open. Oh my god. 
Oh my God, so I just got some flowers. I wish I had a better setup for y'all, but I don't because I want y'all to see my whole entire room. Oh my God, it's so French. I have a little message on them. Oh, so cute. Let me open my message. Oh, <laughs> is it really today? Yeah. No, it's not for real. Yeah. Oh, can I read it? Go today is yours, and I hope you have a day more amazing than you could imagine. Here's some pretty things that are nowhere near as beautiful as you. Proud isn't even a word. I'm beyond enorm enormous. Enormous. What's that word? What the hell is that word? Enamored. What? Enamored. Ena enamored. Enamored by you. I gotta go Google that. <laughs> what you say? I'm beyond enamored by you. P.S. Happy month anniversary. Yes, month anniversary. Yes. Yes, flowers. Oh my God. What the mother? One thing about me, spoil me, ho. Spoil me. Period. Um, let me take a picture of it. Hey, y'all. So, here's my little OOTD. I'm going to show you guys it when I get there more so. Um, let me try to stack y'all right here. I need to put some lipstick on, lip gloss on. My lips so dry. I told y'all I don't know what's going on, going on with them. But, okay, see y'all later. Bye. Okay, so I'm getting ready. Doing what I got to do. Y'all see me. Period. So, I'm pretty much ready. I got a lip. I got a lip gloss that's more lipstick based. Oh my God, I just can't believe everything that's happening for me. I'm just so freaking nervous, but... Give me a few minutes, okay? Good job. So I'm here with my support crew. We are hey. here in the building. Hey, y'all. Hi. My hair all up. It'll be all right. I had to put this thing on my head because y'all know my wig was slipping yesterday. I can't be playing with them. <laughs> and I brought my hat by accident just in case it slip off. <laughs> you think little hat on? I sure will. I heard that. They said it's hot when they last day. They mad. <laughs> it is warm. It's been like so cold. I probably be cold today. I could have flexed with my vest on so they could see my outfit. Mm. <laughs> not you trying to do it, bitch. A little bit, a little bit. But yes, I'm not even nervous. Look at my little fetcher, y'all. Ooh, look, look at her. her. Look at her. Mama Glam. Dang. Dang. You I posted that this morning? No, I just made it. I just haven't put it up yet. Excuse okay. us. You're a model okay. queen. I'm trying to look my best for my girl. Well, you looking your best, girl. It's your big break. I, don't know, I told y'all. Wow. I do not want to disappoint. Just, uh, it's the short dress for me. I know, right? It's the little legs for me. I'm calling the church. Girl, yeah. call the church. Call the church. Oh. Nah, she gonna call the church. Call. Nah, she gonna call the church. Where is she she know she wrong. She don't care. She day walking and everything. But yes, I'm ready for this. This is the beginning of my millionaire year. Speaking of into existence, we are touching in the green with her. Yes. Because when this, when the boss blows up, so do the assistants. Okay. Oh, right? He's yeah. my road dog. You know we need an early retirement over here. Y'all know, and you know, I'm gonna take y'all on a trip. Once oh, I hit my million, I'm gonna take y'all on a so trip. Sweet. Y'all always show up for you me. You ain't got tickets. It don't matter stage. how classy it is <laughs> or how ratchet it is. They always come. We do. These were the cooks at the party. Hey. hey. <laughs> Now we in Paris Fashion Week. Now we in Paris. We Not from Freak Nick Pool Party to the game. She was a fashion week, honey. Yes. You yeah, ride or die. Period. Let's go. Oh my God. Okay, you guys. So I'm here. It's really, really hectic. We trying to get all my garments on the rack and everybody else. Let me show y'all. So there's a lot going on. But we got this. Me and Kim down here. I had to work on this puff part for my last part. It's this little thing. I gotta kind of make it. Uh, 
sizes. On the bottom, you know I can't see. But the wet head is probably what you girl. Yes. On the bag. Mix this up. Girl, I got a rig. On the bag. I'm not sure to the On the bag. Oh, you said on the bag. Okay. Yeah. Eight. See? Okay. Let me see. Let me see that. So how you gonna attach it? Yeah. So here, eight from seven. Those, the eight is on the back row. Okay. Eight's on the back row. Okay. Yeah. Eight's on the back row, seven on the front. Oh, you get open toe? You have scissors? Get them. Cut this off. I've just been breaking it off. Here, you can put these down. These are some eight, and I'll bust that off. I thought she had a pair of scissors. That's exactly nice. Right. There. It just slides out. Okay. I think those are eights I just gave you. Oh, they mixed. Hold up. Huh? There's two pairs. Look at them up. Look at the light. Glamour content. I'll see it in the place. Yeah, I got my outfits right here. It's so cute. My shoes are right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I like this. This is my sorority color. So I'm like, yeah, pink green. Yeah. Yes, you are? What I am mean, AKA out here, period. Because y'all know we nationwide. Yes. Oh my God, how y'all feel? I'm so excited. Well, God said it was my season this year, so I listened. He told me. What time is it? It's 6 a.m. Now they're dedicated if they up. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. on, well, 6 a.m. on the East Coast. It's 6 a.m. on the East Coast. So at 1 o'clock it'll be 7, and then 2 o'clock. Y'all sure? Yeah, it's 6 hours. It's 6 hours. We're 6 hours ahead. Let me find my model right now. Not this, this is not what I'm going to do in production, but I mean, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to be careful. That's the only one. And the one with the feathers, you just got to make sure they look right. And then if the feather is missing or something, I can just pin it on real quick. Okay. But with her, she only got the cap, but she can put this on like this by herself. You know what I'm saying? Okay. She does That's one. Yeah. That's yeah. one in the bag. One in the bag. Okay. okay. And, and the, the one with the shoulder, <laughs> you're going to put that yeah. on the shoulder. When she puts this on, I'm going to put it on her. You got to put it in here. Yes. Oh, where are the scissors at? So we can have some strings and stuff off and stuff. And oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. The only thing I need to find is some double tattoos. Oh my god, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm in Paris Fashion Week. Showcasing my collection. Glimps I take. Like, what the? I need some dance. My girls is ready to go down. I'm really nervous. I'm scared. But everybody looks really, really good. And I'm about to show y'all everybody. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Wait up. Bon, mais merci d'avoir essayé. It was a success. I tried to vlog as much as I could, but I kept forgetting. <laughs> so sorry, y'all. But my mom is over there. This is it now. And the show is winding down, so we're just cleaning up and hanging up everything now. So, yes. <laughs> That's what he said, chestnut. Oh, it's a car. He said chestnut. <laughs> you are in the wrong place. Fool. How am I in the wrong place? He wants you to come over there. So, y'all, we are at the Ark. I put my whole fit on. I look so adorable and cute. It's three o'clock, y'all. It's three o'clock. The show went amazing. I had a blessed time. Everybody loved my collection of designs and stuff. Everybody was asking me for my freaking site, and I'm just like, that's him. Yes. Period. Let me get my stuff. Okay, the Uber driver is here. Gotta go. I'm so proud of myself. Like, I did it. Very special week. It is done. It's a wrap. It's a done deal. Um, it is a little fashion show tonight. So, no, it is a little party tonight. So, I will be going to the party, of course. Um, I got me a cute outfit for that. I don't know which one I want to wear. Maybe one or the two. But yes, and then my mom and I, we're going to dinner tonight too. So, yes, but I made a great time. Period. Yes, period, period, period. I know also, y'all, when it, oh, let me call somebody calling me. Ah, my
my little flowers are so cute. Like, y'all, let me tell y'all. Oh my God, my little flowers are so cute, so yes. Okay, y'all, so we in Louis Vuitton right now, and I'm thinking about getting these pumps. Y'all know I have changed my style a little bit, and I'm at the place called, well, we were here the other week. It was called Chomps and something, something, something. But y'all know I've been changing my style lately, so I want to get these little pumps in here that I see, and I think they look cute with some jeans. So I have to show y'all. That's my cousin over there. Not you gonna get a little pump? <laughs> yes, child. So. Okay, let me get these shoes. Cousin Kim said she get hers. I like them though. I just want to make sure I can wear them. Yeah, no. I want them, so I think I'm gonna get these and I'm gonna get them my Chanel shoes. Okay. You see me, Kim? I see. Yeah. Yes. They look cute on you. It depends on the person. What you gonna wear them with? I like. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put a bra on. Dang, they cute. They are. What size is that? The nine, but they're too little. They're definitely too little. This one over my shoe. I sure do. And I'll put a scarf on too. Oh my god, I gotta do my look on my I don't know how you do look at the scarf. I want these shoes so bad, but I'm gonna just take a picture so I can take care. They look nice. It does. I like the mood. Okay. The new Paris collection. So I ended up getting my shoes. It was five ninety, but they gonna ask me that I want to pay dollars, and it would have been six ninety. Or six something. It would have been six ninety. Mm -hmm. I only ended up paying five ninety because I put it. I paid in euros. Oh, I like this pen. <laughs> you see me? No, that's. I'm not asking to keep a pen. I want to. <laughs> you hesitated. You see me, <laughs> I to put it in my You know how you take some of my and you be like, let me put it in my bag. But yes, so I got my shoes. I told y'all I'm changing my style. I've been telling y'all that I'm, I'm dressing like grown. So this is your receipt. Thank you. I you the I respect it. My new I style? Support it. I support it. I think it's because I'm getting older. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's but it's faces. still like cute to young full, yeah. youthful like me. It's not like old lady like old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I do not. See, if it's designer, you can get a refund on the tax portion of it. So with me buying that, I ended up getting how to get your tax back. And basically, it gives you a little receipt and it tells you how much money you get back. So with me, I bought that and I ended up getting seven. I will get $70 back. So when I go to the airport, I have to fill out all the information of what am I getting. So, yes, y'all. You see me? Okay. Big really on me. Period. You see me? Gleaming. Chow. Ooh. That shit acting crazy. Okay. So true. When we go somewhere, we ain't gonna need nobody. That's true. Period. But why? I'm gonna know how to use why the Kim gonna have us record her coming out the store, child? <laughs> yes. I learned. Look, they, I they learned all, from the bag. Child, they all running. I was about to say, girl, not you trying to bum rush me from my bag. You didn't see them when they was running? I did. And I was like, they're trying to bum rush for a bag? Champ, mm-mm. It's me. It's my thing. Yeah, OK, so we got to go to the Smiley Place. It's a gallery. It's a gallery. It's a gallery. We're over five guys at. It's a process. OK. Oh. Grandma. Is it cash? No, I didn't know where else we were going to go. I'm going to try these Chanel shoes because I've been wanting the new ones 
but they apparently are sold out. The nude ones are sold out in the size I want, and then I try to do the 42, and they like both. Girl, they came on you. Look at them. Is that the little one? Turn that one to the side. Is the side dirty? Is it dirty? I think I'm going to get them really small. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. This is the color I want. It. This is the color I want it. But. I'm going to get these. I'm going to get the front of us. I don't know why I've been wearing so much green lately. I'm gonna get these. Okay. I want these ones. So cute. They're Valentinos. And they're mints, but I think they're so dope. I will get these definitely. This is cute. It is cute, isn't it? It's only one handle? Oh no. no it's got the longer one in there. I think it's. It I is. Like I like it. it's clean looking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at this little shoe castle. It's so cute. I like that. Look at them shoes. Look at them shoes. They're so cute. This is my food I got. Thank you. I was going to wear this dress. I just got this dress not too long ago. But, because I'm going to the after party. But I don't think this is right for the occasion, to be honest. I'm going to change my outfit. I'm going to literally change it into something else. So, I got y'all know me. I hang up all my stuff. So, this is like daytime fit, of course. So, basically, I just got dressed. And, um, I had one out. Remember I told y'all I put that other outfit on? I was like, this is not good, man. So, I'm supposed to get pictures taken tomorrow. So, I mean. I want to do something different this time. Where's my damn? Child, I don't know if you know where shit is at, but. Bitch. Hey, my chain gleam? Period. Nothing. Okay, so I put my light up there. So now my lighting look perfect. Honestly, hate to say it though, but it do. So I look cute. I'm about to put my little nude boots on and then I'm going to be on my way. And yeah, we're going to be done, 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 done. So let me go over to my mama's room because, child, turn this light out. To be honest, this will make my pictures hit. My pictures be hitting so much different when I be using that damn light. I promise you, so I back. Okay, you guys, so I am back again because I have some more explaining to do. So you guys see my show went great. Everything went amazing. I was really back in my energy, back in a happy mood. And then I was on my way to um, the after party. As you guys see, I was dressed for the after party. Me, my cousin, and my mom was going to go. And, you know, I didn't have any bad blood against the person that I had hired to come out with me, but I still saw a little, you know, it, I just was like, you know, it is what it is because you guys know I've been looking like, I've been being very optimistic. So, you know, on the ride to the after party, I go through and I look at his Insta story. And when I'm looking at his Insta story, I see that he has literally screen recorded my Insta story from the show day, a video of me actually smiling that my mom took of me um, just me with my clothes and stuff. He posted those on his Insta story as if he was at the show and literally was saying it's show day today. It's a wrap. Today was a successful day. Like he was posting on his Insta story as if he was there with me when he wasn't. And I wrote him, I said, why would, you? I said, are you serious? Why would you post my stuff like you were there with me? And he proceeded to say, you alluded that you didn't need me anymore. I said, you said you were giving my money back. And then he also said that he was there at my show because all he wanted to do was support me. And I'm like, if you were at my show and wanted to quote unquote support me, why wouldn't you take your own videos? You're a photographer. Like, why wouldn't you videotape with your phone and do your own behind the scenes or any of those types of things? Because, but he wasn't behind the scenes with me at all. I did not have any time. He was not at the show. He literally was not at the show and he didn't have anything to prove of it. But he wanted to screen record my stuff and post it on his Insta story as if he was with me. So that really, with me being a creative, that really devastated me. I'm not even gonna lie because it just felt like, you're getting credit 
and accolades and congratulations for something that you didn't do. You weren't behind the scenes taking photos of me. You didn't take any videos of me behind the scenes. You didn't do any Insta stories or nothing of that nature from the show. You were not present at the show. Like, you just wasn't. And, you know, that's why I don't have any after party footage, y'all. Like, literally, I didn't. And, um, I don't know. It just was so upsetting at that point. Cause like I said, I had already spent so much money on booking the flights, the hotels and all these other things. And at this point he's not responding back about giving me any money back. He's over here making me seem like I'm crazy by saying literally he was at the show, but it's no way you were at that show. Like it was so intimate. I would have seen you like, and I even talked to the lady in charge and I was just like, you know, this is what's going on with this and that and this and that. And she was like, that's just, you know, we're going to make sure you have the best show. We have photographers here that will actually um, take photos for you. And, you know, so it just was really crazy, very manipulative and very like draining. But I just was trying to have the best time possible because I promise you, like, I was just really, really emotionally upset at this point. So that's why I didn't go to the after party, y'all. I'm sorry. And then also, you guys, mind you, I know I'm a really big influencer. So when I normally say stuff, y'all, y'all go hard for me. So I had no intentions on ever telling nobody who he was or saying anything. Um, but he literally sent me a paragraph talking about, yeah, so and also me slandering your name isn't healthy for either of us. I'm like, first off, slander my name. What are you even going to say about me? I didn't do anything to you. If anything, I was begging and wanting you to just show up and shoot what we agreed for you to shoot and do for me. But at minimum, you didn't even show up. So I'm like, why would you slander? And what could you even say to slander my name? Um, so at this point, I was talking to him about the money and paying my money back. He wasn't going to give my money back. So at minimum, I did lose out on his first original flight. And I also did lose out on his hotel because I had paid for his hotel. I believe it was like five days in Paris. Um, but I canceled his flight going his return flight to go back. I did cancel his return flight because at that point, that was the only bit of money I could even get back because he was definitely not even in response to trying to give me the money back. He had breached our contract by then anyway. So it was just like, at minimum, can I get some type of restitution but um you know like I said I really apologize for my vibe y'all because I know it's going off and normally I'm more upbeat and I'm more put together with my videos but that's why my Paris vlogs are kind of like emotionally up and down back and forth or choppy or I'm not ending off on certain days correctly or it's not as you know normally I do one vlog per day um but I had I wasn't in an emotional space I really was upset about it a lot because I had so much stuff to get film like even in the next vlog y'all gonna see I went to the Paris wholesale district and I couldn't even film it because I didn't have a videographer so like I said I apologize but that's my update that's what's going on with me and you know if there's any more updates I'll let you guys know